This little contraption right here uses 39 watts of energy and I guarantee will keep your ponds open so that your fish will not die over winter no matter how deep the snow or how cold the temperature. And I'm going to show you how to build it using materials that you can buy easily at Lowe's. And I picked Lowe's because if you're a veteran they'll give you a 10 percent discount. So thank you Lowe's and here we go. It shows a 29 gallon tote the price on that. You'll need from three to however many of these 13 watt uh, CFL bulbs that you think you might need. You need one 10 foot stick of 2 inch PVC Schedule 40 pipe. And you can see that is the length there. One small can of C PVC cement will do the trick. And we have some left over. And pick up four of these two inch slip elbows. Here's what they look like. And you'll need four of those. If you have some pieces of styrofoam laying around, you will not need this next step, but I want to show you what the cost would be if you did a piece of uh, styrofoam. And I used one inch, and it was $10, I think it was. They don't have it in stock here right now. But I also got the kind of styrofoam with this uh, shiny side on it which is like a $10 piece of styrofoam. Okay, I'm now going to show you how simple it is to assemble this using the parts that we uh, purchased. This is the uh, tote. and it, The bottom has been cut out of the tote. You can do that any number of ways. I actually used a, a Dremel tool to cut the bottom out. And that is step one. These are the pieces of styrofoam. See, they're kind of rough cut, but really you just need a kind of a wedge pattern and you'll see how that goes together here so the force of the styrofoam will actually keep it uh, in there so let me show you how this goes together the first piece will wedge down into here and the second piece always have the shiny side to the inside and then the other piece goes in like this. The next piece goes in like this. And it will balance itself as the water comes up in it. And then I added a, a, a couple of extra pieces here. That there. And then this here. And I uh, did this actually after I'd already put it together once when I noticed how uh, firm it made the lid. And as you look down inside you'll see the reflective nature. That styrofoam gives it more buoyancy and also has an insulation value uh, throughout the, the winter. I have left this part open so that when it's in the pond I can actually take a look at the lights to see if they are or on or not. And you can see it doesn't go clear at the bottom so there'll be water come up inside there as it goes. And the last step is to make the lid. In this step what you'll need is an old string of Christmas lights if you have one laying around that will have the bulbs and I have one here that I can show you. These are the old but uh, just regular old Christmas lights. They have the same base as our 13 watt CFL lights. And you can cut the string on, the, on this end. These are all wired independently so if one goes out the other ones will still be on. Now on this string I made it for four lights but the one I actually will put on the box I'm going to make for five because depending on the the cold weather I may want to use up to five CFLs. And I will drill the holes I think they're half inch holes that uh, through the plastic and then simply put this on the top of the plastic and screw the light up from the bottom. And here's my finished lid. I actually have five holes in there but I'm only using three lights and I drilled them so that they would be as close to evenly spaced as possible and you can see that the lights just simply screw through the holes. I put the other Christmas light bulbs through there just to keep the uh, the other two uh, sockets from 
you know, rusting or I could, you know, use them if I needed to depending on how cold the temperature actually got. And I have used this this winter and I haven't needed any more than three of these. And I'll show you what it looks like in the pond here shortly. But uh, if you were you know, way up north, uh, Minnesota type area, I would suspect you would want to use uh, all five of the light sockets. So to uh, actually install this, we'll move over here now, and you simply put it on there, and it will latch down, and pull this up, and pull this up, and you can see where you can see through there now to, to the light bulbs, and uh, that gets very bright. And it's actually a nice little pond light. As the water comes up in there and around that collar, it will uh, raise up the styrofoam, which these pieces I put on the end will uh, keep everything in place. So it acts as uh, reflective, keeps it buoyant, and uh, keeps the water open, which is the main thing. And the gases can also escape because it's not a, a total airtight seal. So the pond will stay open, the gases will escape, and I'm going to call this the uh, 39 watt, 39 dollar pond heater. And you can take it apart, store it in the summertime, and use it in the winter. So the next step is to show you what it looks like in the pond. Okay, I wanted to give you an idea of how this uh, actually works. This is the uh, outlying edges of my fish pond. It's about 3,000 gallons. And it's uh, three feet deep on three different levels. If you go over here, that is the, you can just barely see the edge of the of the uh, waterfall so over here it's covered up in snow this morning it's about uh, oh 20 degrees and it's been as cold as oh uh, seven to eight below zero uh, wind chill factor and as you can see here is the top of the case I made and you wait until the first freeze and then you break through the ice and uh, put the collar in and set that down in there and the styrofoam actually helps you to balance the uh, the heater but it's been there all winter and I want to give you I'm going to break it free and and show you here what it looks like uh, underneath there if I can do this and run the camera at the same time here kind of yeah. flip that edge down and lift this up I'm going to have to pull the cord up a little bit and unplug it. And as you can see underneath, hopefully, <clears throat> there's what the, you know, put it up here in the snow. It has worked perfectly well. You can see down in there that, uh, see if I can zero in on this here a little bit. And that is perfectly clear water. And it's been that way all winter. And every now and then I'll take a look in there and I'll see some fish swimming underneath. But uh, if I wanted to, I could completely pull it out of the water right now. And I guess I might try that for you. Nope, it's actually froze in on the sides. But clear water, very inexpensive to build. And actually, you're seeing it as it is working. Plug it back in and come over here to show you a side view. That lets you see all winter long how uh, your lights are working. Gives you a lot of bright light. Fish actually like to swim underneath that. And uh, you can do it any number of ways.